ma'am? It's more like your holiness or dark majesty as a thing as a CIA agent working undercover for Mr. Lenap. You're not a... You're cool, right? Cool? Around 6.45. He doesn't normally go to work on Saturdays, but he had a very good evening last night. Not now, Maureen. Do you think she's prettier than me? Maureen, Maureen. Since she joined the cast, you've been distant. Maureen, do you mind? Fine. Okay, name, walkabout, theater on a seat. Yeah, totally. Sure. Let me know when. Yep, action. Uh, well, Nothing Special Productions has been involved in the last two years, um, and then this year I was asked to be an ensemble member with that company, so. He offered us this um, job last year doing a scene that he had pulled aside, a John Guar scene. Um, well, okay, I'm the, I'm the producer, I created the event, but it's actually sponsored by the Cultural Arts Commission, the Elgin Cultural Arts Commission. Uh, I've been working with this for about three years now. The commission approved to do it a couple of years ago, and we've been doing it in downtown Elgin ever since. It sounded like a really fantastic opportunity to go and do some found theater space work and work with some funny, silly, crazy people. Yeah. Walkabout was created from the idea of basically a mashup. We kind of live in a mashup society right now where people grab different things from different sources and they kind of throw it together in a pot and see what they come up with. But this experience, I've, I've learned so much just from seeing the people that are coming out to it and walking through the town. And, and one of the things we like about this is the city of Elgin is a real city. Um, it's got a real central business district. It's a real downtown. Lots of restaurants and, and bars to go to, lots of businesses around. And it, it's, it's, a, it's not a suburban experience at all. We're not in some strip mall. Elgin, I don't think people realize how far downtown Elgin has come. It's really grown and developed and it's got so many neat new artistic outlets and a great artistic community. So I think it's really nice for something like this to introduce people to not only the great architecture and the great new walkways and all of that, but also the different artists who are part of the community. Back in 2005, I was in Paris with my wife and they did this thing called the Festival of Music, which is really, a, it's a great event. It happens on summer solstice. We were on the left bank staying there, and then we ended up going down to Montmartre. On our way, we saw different bands, every quarter block, every half block playing. You know, some of it was college bands, some of it was much more professional. Flashback, maybe a year before that, there's this thing going up in Chicago, and it's called The Walking Alice. And what it is, is these companies get together, and they take a chapter of Alice in Wonderland, and they riff on it into a, like a play. And they put it in different gallery spaces, cafe spaces, stuff like that all over the place. So I thought, well, wouldn't it be neat to kind of mash up, because this is the original walkabout idea, some music, some theater, some art, and do like different venues and see what would happen. Take people on kind of a tour, take them down the rabbit hole, so to speak, and see where they end up. So the first couple of years was like that. You go to different storefronts, different venues, check it out see different plays, and it was really interesting. And like I said, people get a kick out of it because you're redefining expectations of what theater is. This year, which was even better, was we did this thing called Hidden Spaces Found Places. And so we led people to different places in Elgin, back alleyways, old storefronts, old loading docks, uh, parking decks, corridors, stuff you just forgot about. Because Elgin's doing all this revitalization downtown and they're building everything up, but now you have a lot of spaces that are not quite there yet. So you get to see like an old loading dock that's been around since 1902 and they did some of the filming for Hoffa. What's different than performing in a normal like theater type setting is the audience is literally a foot away from me. So I, I find that very exciting and, and also nerve wracking because they are right there. You don't have these spotlights on you where you can, and it's dark and you can tune out the audience. They're there. The and piece Oracle that we performed at the bookstore was actually developed for the location. We knew we had selected the bookstore so we wanted to bring a piece that actually involved the location um, and so Oracle encompassed all of that. Um, I think this space was perfect for this scene, you know, because it's this whole clandestine spy meeting spy, and where more appropriate than on the roof of a, a parking garage, you know. It's it's really well supported by the the community and the, the people that came to see it. They they're just it was it was, it was almost like surprising that that 
something like this isn't being done all the time. The audience um, reactions are always interesting to see. This piece in particular has been really exciting to see how they react because we had one of the actors planted in the audience to um, <laughs> sort of, uh, you know, um, just be annoying to them. And So this year we sort of pushed it and we sort of, you know, tried to irritate them, tried to annoy them. I know one of the uh, one of the actors who was the plant said he had a hard time being rude. It, it was a lot to overcome. He didn't want to actually have to be rude to the audience, but that was part of the show. It was part of the fun. It turned out that he could possibly be the killer in, in our piece. I think the audience has really enjoyed it because they got to have all of these different experiences in one afternoon. <laughs> it's been really, really uh, mixed at the end in a way that they're handling it because there's the uh, intimations of cannibalism. I'm just, I'm amazed at the turnout, like just the amount of people that are willing to come out on their Saturday afternoons and see a show. Best thing about it is that with Elgin you got this, this backdrop that you couldn't afford now if you wanted, but it's 150 years old and it's awesome to do all this different work. You have these old buildings, these cobblestone streets, the whole thing. And by doing these events like Walkabout, Theater on Your Feet, you know, 1440 Photography Project, different theater productions, a variety of things, music, dance, you name it. You're trying to get people out here and trying to raise the bar and have people be aware that there's other things to do here outside of going to Chicago. I mean, that was one thing that Claire, uh, since she also works at a bookstore, it's kind of nice how she had a really good sense of creating something to take place within there. And Envision Theater was born out of that, just doing this honest avant-garde type of experimental work. I think the biggest challenge with this show was creating fight sequences that were hilarious but also very technically precise. The short rehearsal period, I mean just having three rehearsals to really kind of get everything gelled and put together and then keeping it fresh when you do it five times in a row and the same day is interesting. It's kind of difficult, it was supposed to be a site specific piece and we weren't really sure about what site we were going to be at. Until Trying to put it together rapidly and going through revision after revision after revision, especially when we also, this isn't our full-time job, we have regular jobs to go do. This is my second time attending Walkabout. I came in 2009 and again this year in 2010. First of all, I love live theater, so um, it's always an opportunity to see different styles and different approaches. The other thing that was neat about Walkabout is that it used unusual spaces. So we got to discover some of the Elgin businesses and some of the things um, that I otherwise would never have walked into. So that was exciting. After we thought it was over, we were leaving and we found the answer to the problem at the back of the bookshop. And there in the alley behind the bookshop was a second play and that was, that was uh, Extremely difficult for the people to do, I think. Uh, but we had a, we all had a good time, I think, watching that as well. And uh, we always strive to tell the truth, and that's what I feel theater is all about. It's about telling the truth. And I think that um, <laughs> you, you never really know where truth comes from. And just watch how it grows each time we have a, a new audience, a different audience, and see what things work and what don't work. And it's really been kind of a, a just a fun experience. Be a part of. I mean, the bottom line is um, there's a great director in theater, Peter Brook, um, based out of Paris, who said, in the end, ultimately, work attracts work. So it's all about working, keep working, and keep bringing people in.